Hello friends, in this video we will discuss about the concept of circular shifting. Okay, circular shift of a discrete time signal x of. Okay, so let us start. So how, let's assume that for a signal x of n where uh, n varies from 0 to n minus 1 okay so circular shift is defined as so circular shift is defined as y of n is equal to x of n minus n naught modulo n okay so here let us uh, write down what is this means so this stands for what is called modulo operation okay we call this as modulo operation so first let us understand what is the concept of modulo operation and then discuss about what is the circular shifting operation okay so for example okay so let us take n equal to 6 okay so let us take n equal to 6 so we are let us try to evaluate let us say 2 modulo 6 so this is nothing but remainder of 2 divided by 6 which would be equal to 2 so similarly 3 modulo 6 would be equal to remainder of 3 comma 6 which is equal to 3 so till now we don't have any ambiguities but what happens if the number is greater than 6 let us say 7 modulo 6 so this would be equal to again remainder of 7 and 6 which would be equal to 1 okay now what happens if the term inside the bracket is negative let us say uh, minus 1 modulo 6 so to evaluate this we need to add a integer multiple of 6 to minus 1 so this is minus 1 plus 6 modulo 6 so which would be equal to modulo 5 modulo 6 which would be equal to 5 so in a similar fashion what happens if this the number is let us say minus 8 okay minus 8 modulo 6 so for this we need to add minus 8 plus not 6 but 2 times of 6 so we have to make sure that the time inside this is always a positive number so and hence we have to add 2 times of 6 so this would be equal to modulo 6 and this would be equal to 4 modulo 6 which is equal to 4 so hopefully you understood the concept of modulo operation now let's take an example for circular shifting okay so let's assume our signal x of n is equal to let us say 1 2 3 and 4 okay and let's assume this is the origin so okay the plot of this will look like this it's a discrete time plot will look like this so this fellow is 1 2 3 and 4 so this time limit should be 0 2 3 and this is 1 2 3 and 4 now we are interested in evaluating y of n which is defined as x of y of n which is defined as x of n minus 1 modulo 4 so y this 4 comes into the picture because the given signal x of n is of length 4 okay so let us try to evaluate this signal so let us start from 0 so y of 0 would be equal to x of minus 1 modulo 4 which is equal to x of minus 1 plus 4 modulo 4 so this turns out to be x of 3 so which is equal to 4 so in a similar fashion what will happen to y of 1 so y of 1 would be x of 0 
mod below 4 which is equal to x of 0 and this is equal to 1 so similarly y of 2 would be equal to x of 2 minus 1 modulo 4 which would be equal to x of 1 so this is equal to 2 so finally what is y of 3 equal to so this would be x of 3 minus 1 modulo 4 which is equal to x of 2 okay and this turns out to be 3 okay now let us try to plot the y of n so this turns out to be so at 0 you have 4 and at 1 you have 1 and at 2 you have 2 and at 3 you have 3 okay and this would be equal to 4 and this is our y of n so what happened the signal x of n got circularly shifted okay circularly shifted by one unit okay so this is the way how you plot the circular shift so we will conclude this talk this lecture with one more example so let us again take the same x of n let us say x of n equal to 1 2 3 and 4 okay which is origin here and the plot of which again will look like this so this is 1 2 3 and 4 okay so this is 0 1 2 3 this is 1 2 3 4 okay now we are interested in plotting y of n equal to x of n my n plus 2 modulo 4 okay so we are interested in plotting y of n equal to x of n plus 2 modulo 4 so let us again proceed in the same way what is y of 0 y of 0 would be x of 2 modulo 4 which is equal to x of 2 and hence this would be equal to 3 okay similarly what is y of 1 y of 1 would be x of 3 modulo 4 which is equal to x of 3 and x of 3 is equal to 4 so similarly y of 2 would be equal to x of 4 modulo 4 which is equal to x of 0 and this would be equal to 1 so and finally y of 3 would be equal to x of 5 modulo 4 which is equal to x of 1 and which is equal to 2 okay now let us write down what is y of n so y of n we got it to be 3 4 1 and 2 so this would be the origin and if you try to plot this so the plot of y of n will look like this so this is 3 at 0 then you have 4 at 1 then you have 1 and then 2 at 2 and 3 respectively so this is 3 4 1 and 2 respectively this would be our y of n so in this way we can try to plot the circular shifting of circular shift of a discrete time signal x of n Thank you.